This video will cover the programming of the IS-40 infrared and microwave sensor. For more information, contact your cold chain sales representative or find us at www.coldchainllc.com. Cold chain uses the IS-40 infrared and microwave sensor on our freezer lock door systems to eliminate false openings due to cross traffic and pedestrians within your facilities. A remote control is required to program the sensor and should have been provided to your facility personnel upon installation. Additional remotes are available from Cold Chain. The IS-40 settings can be easily customized to your facility if you find that there are too many false openings. In general, Cold Chain relies on factory default settings, except for infrared pattern, target size, sensitivity, and rejection mode. All programming sessions begin by pressing the unlock button on the remote while pointing it at the sensor. Once the sensor un accepts the unlock command, the red LED on the sensor will flash slowly, indicating that it's in the adjustment mode. To check any parameter, point the remote at the sensor to press the button of the parameter you'd like to check and then the question mark button. The number of green flashes from the LED will indicate the setting of that parameter. To change a parameter, press the parameter key after which the red LED flashes quickly. Then press the number of the new value and the, the red LED will flash slowly to indicate acceptance. The first parameter we will change is the infrared pattern. Cold chain recommends number 6 or 2 wide by 5 deep. In order to get there, we press the B button, then press 5, and the red LED will flash slowly again. To confirm this, we press B, then the question mark, and you should see six green flashes. Any setting can be changed by pushing the similar corresponding key and a number as in the previous example. Cold Chain recommends the following settings. For infrared pattern, number 6, target size, 7, sensitivity, 5, rejection mode, 5. When all settings are complete, depress the lock key twice. This will put the sensor in the operational mode and no LEDs should be lit. 